16-0, Eloy Perez of Salinas is preparing for his bout with Gilberto Sanchez on the Mosley Mayweather card, and trainer Max Garcia is convinced Eloy will kick. Gilberto Sanchez's ass. We don't know what he's getting into. A little demon, a little monster. Anyway, we've been up in Big Bear for almost two months in the snow, working with Sugar Shane. Uh, Sugar Shane Mosley working with Urbano Antion, a real tough guy who can fight anywhere, anybody. And uh, Eloy's been extremely dedicated. He wants to win this fight. Hopefully after this fight, we get a title shot for the world title. Yeah. Well, Dennis Taylor of Ringside Boxing Show. Uh, we're here watching Eloy Perez, next world champion. Well, He's looking awful good right now, Jerry. He's, uh, he's awful fast. He's been training with Shane Mosley. I hear he's given Shane Mosley all he can handle in the gym. And we both know uh, Shane's got a good shot at beating Floyd Mayweather Jr. So if that's where Eloy is right now, yeah, world champion. Just the goal is to become a world champion. That's my destiny, you know? I mean, I'm not stopping until I get there, you know? And uh, my NABO and all, all those belts, they don't mean nothing until it's a world championship belt. <laughs> This is a tall guy, um, uh, not much of a, a banger. I think the guy's got uh, three or four knockouts, four knockouts, something like that. But he's beaten some some good fighters. He beat this guy Carlos Yanez, who was 17 and one. Uh, beat another guy who I think was 15 and one at the time. So the guy's got some credentials, and Eloy has to take him seriously. He's a live opponent, but uh, Max tells me right now Eloy's ready for anybody. A tall beanpole, what a yeah. surprise, huh? Yeah, just get the win, you know. Yeah, did that all start with Ron Boyd and Monterey? Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but when I started, <laughs> yeah, and then every every fighter since. Yeah. That's what are we talking about? Seven or eight so fighters that have all been like three or four tall. inches yeah. taller yeah, than you. Yeah, they're tall. Yeah. It's all right though. It doesn't mean a difference. Well, that's I'm what happens eight. when you're vertically challenged, right. my friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Humberto Soto uh, is going to go up in weight. He's a reigning world champion at super featherweight. Robert the Ghost Guerrero is going up in weight. He's a reigning world champion at super featherweight. Those are two vacant belts right now, so it could happen in the very next fight for Eloy. You know, I talked to Robert the other day, and he said he had such glowing things to say about you, and one was that you're destined to be a world champion, yeah. that it's not just rhetoric, that he sincerely believes that uh, that's going to happen. What, what do you feel about that when you hear somebody say it? Like I mean, I, I like to hear it, you know? Um, uh, especially when it comes with, with uh, uh, like Robert. And also Robert the Ghost Guerrero thinks he's going to be a world champion. He's got three titles himself, so that's a guy who ought to know. 